tribute to the visiting chief of state, the American Congress convenes in a joint session. Responding to their invitation, President Bourguiba will address the Senate and the House of Representatives. The elected representatives of the American people welcome President Bourguiba as a lover of freedom and humanity and a great world citizen. du Congrès, c'est pour moi une joie, en même temps qu'un honneur. Honorable members of Congress, it is both an honor and a great joy for me to address the representatives of a friendly people who share with us the same devotion to the deepest human values. The primary quest of nationalism, as President Kennedy has so well understood it, is essentially liberation from the degrading subjugation of man to man and of people to people. Nous n'avons jamais hésité en ce qui nous concerne à souligner à l'adresse du monde occidental. We have never hesitated to point out to the Western world the harm it has done itself by compromising with its own principles in order to avoid giving offense to some of its members. It is therefore a real source of satisfaction to us to see the United States of America return to its traditional policy of anti-colonialism and support for the principle of self-determination and independence for all people. We have never ceased to proclaim our full and unqualified support for the struggle of our Algerian brethren for independence or to translate that support from the moral to the material plane. May the Tunisian and American peoples look forward to a future in which these links will be even stronger, based as they are on understanding, respect, and affection. These excerpts, and indeed the entire speech, met with a warm response. The Washington